What's up YouTube, this is Prince at ATP 101 and in this video I want to go over my top 10 tweaks that's compatible with iOS 9 right now. So if you want a jailbreak, I have a link in the description and also in a video in the card right here. And also I also made a top 5 video earlier, so you can check that out also out in the cards. So this is kind of like my part 2. So my first tweak is Barrel. As you can see that right there. Barrel, that's what Barrel does. It's basically whenever you switch pages. Let's drag something to the other page. So that's what Barrel does. It'll give you that cool animation. We can go to settings. Scroll down to see Barrel. Go in there. Hold on, cancel that. Not in Barrel. Go on Barrel. We'll scroll through. And we could switch it up. I'm going to try to wave. So there you go guys, so that's what Barrel does, it just basically gives you a cool animation for every time you switch pages. So my second one is called Status Volume 2. If you look up top, the status bar, that's where my volume indicator is. Not on the screen being obtrusive, right now it's just very simple and subtle right at the top. And that's really cool, so I like that. So that one's called Status Volume 2. And then my third one is called Night Mode. As you can see, when I'm in settings, it's totally blacked out. If I go on the mail, where's mail? Same thing. Know what I mean, if I go on the city, where's city at? Even city has blacked out as well. So that's what night mode does. That this is great for when you're working at night. If you're in your room, it's real great. So my fourth one is called eye cleaner. Eye cleaner basically cleans up your device. I mean, you could set it up for application, and you could basically go through and set it up how you want it. And when you're done, you just hit clean, and it will clean up Safari, whatever you got it set up for. And just take away all those unwanted caches and all that stuff. Come on, it's playing an ad. And there you go. And you're good to go. So that's Eye Cleaner. They also Eye Cleaner Pro. You could try on both. And yeah. So my fifth one is called Dock Shift. Dock Shift is real cool. If you look at the bottom of my phone, you see it's clear. Usually there's like a little, um, a little background down there. But in this one, with Dock Shift, I don't have that. So if I scroll down to my preferences and I go to Dock Shift, I got it enabled. And I got it on style. The style is milk glass clear. And then I could switch it up. Now you see there's a subtle background there. Let's try something else. Now you see it's that one. I mean, so basically you just go through and play with it. And to you find which one you like. But I, I like the milk glass clear. Where's that one at? That one. There you go. Because I don't want nothing down there. So that's the one I, I do for that one. And then my sixth one is called Better 5 Icon Dock. If you look down at the bottom right here, you can see I have five icons. So that's done with 5 Icon Dock. Better 5 Icon Dock. That's all it is. You just drag another one down there. And you're good to go. So that's my sixth one. And my seventh one is basically better five column home screen. If you look at my home screen, there's five across. So it looks a little bit jumbled, but I like it like that. So I got five across, and basically that's all it does. You download it, as soon as you download it, it'll take effect. When you download the five icon, better five icon, when it's still gonna be four, you just drag one down there and then you're good to go. And then my eighth um, tweak is called CC Background. CC Background is basically this. You see that? I got a picture in my control center. That's real cool. I mean, so how to switch it up? Let's go to settings. Control, where's CC Background? There we go. You could enable it. You could choose a picture from your camera roll and basically just add it and hit done 
and it will take effect. I don't want to take it to do it right now because then my phone will reboot and you know what I mean but in fact where is that let's let's try one right now. Let me select a picture real quick. So there we go. And I hit done. My phone's gonna reboot. And after the reboot Then you see it took effect, but you gotta find the right one because sometimes it depends on the coloring, you won't show all the stuff, but they're there. So that's basically what CC background is. And my ninth one is called CC settings. So let, let me switch this back. Okay, so CC settings, guys, it's basically that. If you look right up here, you see I have six, and I could even scroll across. So that's what CC settings does, it'll give you some extra settings in your control in your control center and CC is control center so let's scroll down where is it at so basically you could switch it up from five from six to five or four so I'm gonna put five and I'll go back it's only five up top so if I put it back at six now you can see six and there's more settings you can just go through and switch them up if I want Bluetooth at the front I did that no Bluetooth is right there if I want Wi-Fi right there put it at the top no Wi-Fi is at the left so that's what CC settings does and then my tenth and final one is called Lock Glyph Lock Glyph is this right here you see that little fingerprint animation right there so that's Lock Glyph whenever you See that? So that's lock glyph right there. That, that's all it does. And it also let's go to lock glyph. Where's the behavior? And we could enable lock glyph, enable unlock sound, unlock immediately. Like if I take that off, see that? It's slower, but you get the animation and also that check mark. See that you gave me a check mark, but it's a lot slower. And as you guys know, the iPhone success fingerprint is real fast. But when I do when I take that animation off, it opens a lot faster. Not as fast, but a lot faster than when it did that whole animation, then it gives you the check mark. So there you go, guys. Those are my top ten tweaks that's compatible with iPhone 6 and basically any device that's jailbroken on iOS 9.0.2 or 9.0 or whatever it is so make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching